हेलो गाइस सो दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट लैब ऑफ एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज़ जस्ट द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ ए एम मॉडुलेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट तो आई विल शो यू टूडे हाउ वी मॉडुलेट ए एम सिग्नल ओके इन हार्डवेयर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो टू द सर्किट सो दिस इज़ द सर्किट ऑफ ए एम मॉडुलेशन एज यू कैन सी दिस इज आवर ट्रांजिस्टर बी सी वन जीरो सेवन बी पी and there are several resistance of different different values we have one capacitor and one inductor two input one is this this is for the message signal fm and am frequency and amplitude this is for the carrier signal fm and am as you can see this is uh, sorry ac is 15 volt and fc is 10 kilohertz right now this uh, by default we kept it as 10 kilohertz this of message signal the amplitude is 4.5 volt and the message signal frequency is 500 hertz okay and these are different different resistors and capacitor we will take output from the collector of npn transistor from collector of npn transistor we will take one output we will observe the output on cro so i have already shown you in your last semester that we have several other other devices from where we used to generate our signal and used to observe that so first of all i will start with this power supply as you can see it has three channels 1 2 and 3 we can take simultaneously three outputs from here right now i have connected in first channel and the output i am giving to the circuit is 8.3 volt we can vary this also using these things okay we can vary this so this is one this is second thing is this uh, two channel function generator this is our function generator okay as you can see we can give different frequencies and uh, we can change the frequency and amplitude you can see this is the channel 1 this is the channel 2 i am using the channel i am using this channel 1 it is going to connect it in our circuit as here here so this is for message signal channel 1 it will supply the sine wave and this is for the this is connected this channel 2 is connected this channel 2 is connected at this place okay so this is for the carrier signal okay so as we know in am modulation message signal frequency is low and carrier signal frequency is high so right now if you will look at the display this channel 1 is of message signal and its frequency is set to the 500 hertz and amplitude is 4.5 volt as i have already shown you in this circuit message signal frequency is 500 hertz and 4.5 volt and if we will switch then you will see here this channel 2 is set on frequency 10 kilohertz and amplitude 15 volt as you can see in this circuit 10 kilohertz and 15 volt and this using this two channel we will give the input of message and carrier now you can see here we have connected this circuit this black one is our transistor we don't have exactly this transistor so we are using 2 and 555 transistor so it is not perfect transistor for the am modulation but uh, this is available with us right now so we are using it and other than that this uh, emitter base and collector has been connected here this is the breadboard as you know this is the breadboard this side uh, is the collector of this transistor this middle one this side is the base and this lower one is the emitter as you can see from collector i have connected one this this small one this is small one this is the capacitor this is the this is the 
इंडक्टर येलो वन एंड फ्रॉम बेस आई हैव कनेक्टेड वन ट्वेंटी टू किलो हर्ज ट्वेंटी टू किलो ओम रेसिस्टेंस दिस मिडिल वन इज वन किलो ओम रेसिस्टेंस एंड दिस दिस वन इज सिक्स पॉइंट एट किलो ओम एंड फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम एट दिस पॉइंट वी हैव कनेक्टेड वन पावर सप्लाई यूजिंग दिस डी सी सोर्स आई हैव स्विच इट ऑफ राइट नाउ बिकॉज I am explaining the circuit. I am touching the circuit at this point. We have to switch off the DC power supply. So this is the DC power supply plus, and this is the DC power supply minus. Okay. So we have connected minus here and plus here at this. So these lines are already sorted of breadboard, and these lines are already sorted of breadboard, horizontally sorted, and in this middle one were vertically sorted. so i have connected this resistance as it is shown in the circuit you can see this 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 all this resistance has been shown in which 1 kilo ohm is connected to our carrier signal and this lower 10 kilo ohm from emitter is connected to our message signal as you can see this is my 1 kilo ohm which is connected to the carrier signal channel one of the function generator okay and this is the emitter this is emitter and this is the 10 kilo ohm resistance from which i have connected this channel 1 channel 2 which is of message signal okay from function generator and uh, we have connected this wire to make it to the ground and this is the plus volt and this is the minus volt and this is how we have connected our circuit now what we will do our desired output will be the am output and yeah one more thing from emitter side sorry from collector side from here this is the dso we have connected dso channel so our third is this dso where we will observe our wave form so this dso this is one channel this is four channel dso simultaneously we can observe four outputs here from 1 2 3 4 okay but we don't need four channels right now we need only one so we have connected this through this cable we have connected it at the collector side as you can see this shown in the output at collector side modulated output is coming out so there we have connected the dso and we will observe the output in this dso display okay okay so this is the output we get the modulated output of fm okay as you can see on this display this is uh, sorry modulated output of am as you can see this is the envelope okay it is envelope like of upper upper level and lower level okay when we do the demodulation when at that point we detect this envelope there is one process called envelope detector using that we do the demodulation but uh, right now we are doing only modulation part so you can see mm. here so this is the am modulation setup and this is our output and now if we want to change the modulation index then what we will do modulation how we can change the modulation index modulation index as you can see here modulation index this is the modulation index where e max minus e min by e max plus mi e min you can see here this is our modulation index formula what is e max here you can see from this graph this is the maximum value i will first stop this at one point okay so you can see the maximum value i will bring the cursor down okay see this 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 is our maximum this this is our maximum and uh, wait maximum and this is our minimum 
this this lower lower one this is our minimum so i can measure this using cursor and you can see the output here this y2 is on 11.8 volt y1 is 11 volt means this lower part is on 11 volt this upper part is on 11.8 volt and the difference is 760 millivolt means about 2.8 volt it is about 0.8 volt you can say and uh, so if we will imply the formula here then we will get very low modulation index i have calculated something in which i got first vmax 12.3 right now i am getting vmax 11.8 but it doesn't matter it's okay no problem with that so using this formula if i have will calculate the mu okay then it came at 0 0.029 means about 2 percent which is very low because we are not using the designated transistor we don't have right now that transistor that's why we are not using that but if we will use the same transistor as it is given here okay then we will get the desired output so right now uh, what we can do we will change this modulation index you can see here in this graph when i i will change this frequency of carrier okay okay i will change this frequency of carrier of channel 1 then we will get right now it is on 10 volt I am going to change it, I am going to reduce it, okay, I am going to reduce it, see it is on 10 volt, I am reducing it, I make 9 volt right now and you see the changes, I am reducing it, you can see the changes, okay, my output changed, modulated output changed, okay, so my modulation index also changed because this gap because this gap in between this gap this changes so modulation index changes so this is how or we can do one more thing we can change the message signal frequency also from there also we can observe the changes if we will change the message signal frequency it is on 500 hertz right now if we will increase this and you will see these changes there is much little bit changes but there is changes okay even changing the amplitude also we can change this output of am modulator so this is how we achieve desired modulation index you have learned in your theory classes what is modulation index and why it is needed so this is how we implement am modulation and this is how we see the modulated signal in our dso okay this is function generator dc dc power supply that's it for today thank you